Marines are known for their deadly fighting abilities, but not every mission requires the use of lethal force. Marines serving with Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment, donned their riot control gear during non-lethal weapons training aboard Camp Pendleton, October 29th. The Marines learned different ways to block and strike using batons. They also learned how to properly hold a shield and march in formation for maximum protection. It is important for Marines to know the tactics and procedures of riot control formations because they could be deployed anywhere, anytime. You never know where you're going to go or where they're going to send you. Uh, so, um, you know, it's, always, it's always good to have that knowledge instead of just having that mentality of always killing. And if you get sent to a uh, peaceful mission um, where you have to like protect something and they uh, non and the lethal capabilities are not authorized, you at least have some type of information on the ammunitions that you need and the uh, and the tactics that you can use. The Marines said the training they received will be effective for any riots they might see in the future. Uh, as a group, you know, you get to know each other, so. Uh, being that we have that, that, that unison compared to some guerrilla warfare or, or people who are trying to rebel out there, you have certain individuals, I mean, you work 40 against one or 40 against 20, 40 people on the same page with, with the weapons that we do have, such as the taser, the OC spray, and the other non-lethal weapons we have, the shotguns, uh, the M203 shotgun rounds as well, I'm sorry, beanbag rounds. Uh, it doesn't make people want to fight against you. So you, you show a big use of force together, it, it'll turn some heads around. The exercise is to prepare the Marines with 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, nicknamed 1st of the 1st, for future deployments overseas. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Lance Corporal Christopher Moore.